Welcome everybody, my name is François Letarte and this is my channel JDRD30, a channel about tabletop role-playing games. Today, question 15 of the RPG A Day 2015 series of questions. And uh, the, the question is the long longest campaign played with my daughter as a guest. So, the longest campaign I've played, well, it was a campaign I've ran and it was into that game. Star Wars, the role-playing game. Not that edition, though. It was kind of the 2.5 edition that I don't have anymore, but it was this role-playing game. It was around the end of the 90s. It, uh, we played that for three years uh, weekly. You know, we were very intense into that. And, uh, yeah, it was around the time that Episode One came into screen, so there was a big buzz around Star Wars uh, back then. So we were quite into it. And this was an awesome campaign that took place into uh, something that was presented into the first Game Master screen for Star Wars. You know this one? The campaign pack. Uh, I think it was the... Uh, it was a sector called Fakir. And uh, it was into a, a mobile uh, rebel base that was uh, going through space, a water hauler. Uh, and the group, the, the group of players were the Green Squadron. And the commander of the base was Lance Rick Rickney. Maybe you, you remember that from uh, that uh, era if you were playing uh, that game. And uh, yeah, so the way what was what was happening? In fact, it was I we played West End Games modules. We mostly played all of them with some uh, adventures from a French magazine called uh, Casus Belli. And I placed them in an order, and that was a campaign. We were going from modules to, to modules with heavy modifications to them to, to make them fit the campaign feel. And also, uh, internet was quite new for me back then, but we were discovering that and we had a forum where we were putting all all star, all star sorts of stuff. We, you know, we had the mission briefings that were there, so when we began a new adventure, it began immediately. We, were, we weren't going through the mission briefing, it was all on the forum. We had some role-playing moments on the forum. We had to those kind of moments on, on Messenger. And I have also a news broadcast that I was publishing there, taking stuff from the Star Wars time, timeline. You know, there was uh, lots of uh, t detailed timelines. And if in the timeline there was something that was relevant that I thought that the characters should know, it was put there. But Often it didn't have any relations to the campaign. It was just to, to, to uh, you know, to, to, to make it feel more Star Wars. But sometimes it was about the characters, and it, the, these weren't good news for them because it was about the Empire searching for them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we had that. I had a section about rules where we were discussing rules for the game just to make sure that everyone were, were on the same page. And we had, uh, I had uh, some kind of an encyclopedia with all stuff, all Star Wars stuff that I was finding on the net that might be useful in the game. So it, it was very intense. I had an intense group of players. You know, there were uh, there were more girls around the table than guys. You know, and this was rocking out as as hell. You know, they were much into Star Wars. And the modules felt very natural since I was able to modify them to, to fit the campaign feel. You know, I will show you one of the... This is the first module, Tatooine Manhunt, that came for uh, the West End game versions, first edition. I, I ran it kind of five times. You know, the first time in the 80s, it wasn't that good. But the sixth time, it was with that group, and, you know, it was an awesome module. I knew it so much that Tatooine felt real, and uh, the danger were real too. So, uh, yeah, it was very, a very intense campaign and so intense that I tried to recreate that intensity into other campaigns that I tried to start after that and I was never able to do that. I was trying to simulate that and it, it, I had no success. I think there was something magical. The players were involved, they were there, they were interested and there was lots of emotion around that. So, yeah. I hope to have a campaign as intense as that in the future. Well, I think I will have when I have more time. You know, time is the is one of the key here. I had lots of time to put on that campaign back then. 
lots, but uh, now I don't have that much time, so I I, I don't ri raise my standards as high. But yeah, I will try to. The magic will come back someday when I have time to put in it. So yes, that was my longest campaign ever played. Even though you, you can't have the magic of an intense campaign, it's always fun to play role-playing games. And that's what we're showing into that series of questions, the RPG A Day 2015 event that you can participate in. Go check out Autocr Autocratic's invitation to do that in all sorts of media. And uh, yeah, be part of the party. My name is François Letard, JDRD30, and up to next time, I hope you have as much fun in your life as in your games. Goodbye.